Never looking back at your actions is costing you more than you know. Depending on who you speak with, depending on where you learn this from, journaling is one of those examples that are missed, uh, misused, misunderstood, or just plain out just done for the wrong reasons. Like, you, there's reasons to journal. To-do lists, brain dumps, gratitudes, planning. But the one that I love to tap into and teach my clients to do is the uncoveted, uh, unconscious zone. That's where you're you're hitting the flow states, uh, when things just come out of you, downloading, when you have access to source, some people call it. I've heard it in so many different ways. But the mistake is never understanding the lessons you need to learn. That forces you to repeat similar mistakes over and over again, making you feel lost and confused. And that happens because of a couple of beliefs. More than a lot more beliefs than what I'm going to say to you. But these two I see plague my high performers. One, never do any harm. Two, don't make mistakes. Those two beliefs plague my high performance behavior habits. And the behavior that they're doing is they make it really hard to look back at what you have written and what you've done without shame or judgment. Looking back at history can save you so much agony and, and pain and suffering. And if you've done it in the past, look at big companies that no longer exist, like Blockbuster or Blackberry. They didn't change with the times. You are doing that without you even recognizing. You're always looking at a different thing to do, how to change, how to work. And it's ingrained in you because you saw those companies and you don't even think you learn from that mistake, but it's happening. That's how beliefs work. When something embeds in you, it starts to change your perception. You have to realize that because you're in that boat now. You have to see the lessons that you're experiencing. The universe is giving you these lessons so it can teach you the skills you need to learn. Now, let me be clear on this. You're never going to take every experience and learn the skill on the first time out. You have to repeat the experiences over and over in some way, shape, or forms. And it's a fact because that's how the brain works. You have to make mistakes to tweak, to adjust. That's the way, that's your superpower. You learn at a geometric rate. You just have to learn to make the mistakes to do it. And that's why people say, don't do any harm. You shouldn't make any mistakes. Those are the beliefs that's holding you back. By not reflecting on those issues, not reflecting without those issues, without shame or judgment, you're doomed to repeat the good and the bad experiences without seeing the point you need to learn. And that's what's holding you back. Now, what probably caught your eye, or your ear rather, is I want the good experiences. That's what's going on. But you don't realize, or think about rather, have you ever gone through and learned a bunch of things? I'm like, oh, I did it. I checked off that box. I satisfied that. I did this. Those are good experiences, but you no longer resonate well with them because you didn't learn the experience of receiving, learning to love, accept all that. So you're doomed to keep on succeeding and not loving it. That happens so often that people don't even realize it. And that's what's causing the pressures. That's what's causing you not to sleep well at night at times. Because there's this anxiety that uh, failure is in the future. You won't succeed in a certain task because you haven't received it. You haven't received the thought processes. And the solution to that, the solution to get you success consistently is seeing and learning from your mistakes. That's it. Reflecting on the past takes a calm mind and body though. You have to be able to be objective and non-critical. Give yourself the time to slow down and allow the answers to flow out of you. That is the key. That's what I want you to focus on. And in this case that I'm giving you with journaling, you must, you're you going to have to write. You're going to have to give yourself some time to allow the truth come out. Your vulnerable side uh, might need some time for the logical mind to like spool out and just spew out of you a little bit. Before the truth comes out. So be patient with yourself. And before you even say, this doesn't work for me. This is never going to work. I remember the last time I did this. I asked you this. Remember the last really great idea that you had. Where were you? Were you in your car? Chilling like a villain. Just relaxing. Shower. 
on the pooper. Just waking up. Just going to sleep. All those times are natural times. The mind spools down and it thins the veil for the unconscious, that really deep, powerful side of you to sleep through, to seep through, allowing you to access the things that you don't know you don't know. But you rarely listen to those, and that's part of the issue. So you have to create more moments like that where you can sit and allow those complex answers to come out, those answers that you know you need but you don't know how to get to just yet. Those are the ones that you have to, but you need to reflect. You need to do that without judgment, shame on looking back at the things that you did wrong and just be like, all right, that's what I need to tweak. I need to tweak it. I need to change it. Listen to me. You know more than you can imagine. You just need to access it. So get yourself calm, reflect, and allow all your greatness to come out. Allow it. You can't force it. It needs to be allowed out. Until next time, see you soon.